Crazy pixel. There's a vast list of MMORPGs for mobile devices that flood stores, so it's difficult to pick a truly good one out of the bunch. Developer Neocraft has luckily presented one of the better ones in the market. I'm Brad Crespo, and this is Noisy Pixel's review of Tales of Wind, written by Brock Jensen. Tales of Wind takes place in the land of Arlestor, which has been inhabited by demons that cause chaos all over. It's up to the player to find out why these demons have appeared and banish them once and for all to bring light back to the land. While it's standard storytelling for a fantasy MMORPG, it's hard to take seriously because of the it's so bad, it's good voice acting. All I saw was a Choco hastily making its way outside the village. Could it be a thief? Thankfully, Neocraft has recently acknowledged this and are working on providing better localized dubbing, and even including the original Japanese voiceover audio soon. But let's give credit to where credit is due, namely with the gameplay, environments, and visuals. Players begin by choosing a class for their character, which includes a warrior, mage, cleric, and assassin. Each class feels fun in their own way since they have a wide mix of abilities. For this review, we went with the assassin class. Basically, the gameplay is what all MMORPG fans know and love. Kill a bunch of monsters, complete quests, complete quests, obtain and upgrade a bunch of items, you know the drill. While it's standard, the developer managed to make fighting fun and even challenging in Tales of Wind. So combat isn't boring at all. Similar to other MMORPGs, there are auto features like auto travel, which I didn't mind using since the game looks stellar, and auto battle that I didn't use since the gameplay is good enough. Aside from the usual stuff, later on you also get access to a multitude of other fun activities like maintaining your own farm. Pretty much you'll never run out of things to do. Some parts of the game could be better though. Certain quests, particularly the kingdom side quests, are a bit of a hassle in terms of matchmaking or lack of it. A majority of them require you to be in a party, but in order to find one, you have to apply to a player's group. Wait times really aren't that long, but it made me wonder why a traditional matchmaking system wasn't put in place instead. There are some PvP options too, but they aren't terribly exciting, as battles can be very short depending on the person you're against. While the game could use a bit more polishing, Tales of Wind packs a lot of content that allows for something to do for everyone, which is one of the game's stronger points. It is definitely one of the better mobile MMORPGs out there, even though it isn't exactly groundbreaking. Noisy Pixel is giving Tales of Wind a 7 out of 10. Thanks for watching. You can read our full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all of our future content.